Okay, so we're gonna move right now to one of the most important parts. Think what you're waiting for about the 3D4 pen that is the feature demo. And uh, Xavier is gonna help us with that. Uh, so Xavier, if you would like to take over so you can explain what we're gonna see today during the demo. Yes, thank you, Dahlia. Um, so yeah, I'm about to take you um, through a demo of the 3D floor planner, and we're going to go through the structures, basically the walls, the windows, and the doors, and the staircases and things like that. And we're going to look at the products and the sources. That would be the furniture, for example. Then we're going to look at the materials and the finish. And that's basically how customizable the items we're going to add to the floor plan are. And we're going to look at how to share and how to export the 3D4 planner. Uh, Perfect. So I'm, so I'm going to leave the screen with you. Yeah. So I'm going to share my screen. Show us. Okay. So as you can see, I am here um, on the House Pro dashboard. And I can start creating a 3D4 plan just by clicking right here. And you will see it will basically open up a file. And um, by default, it will start you know, with four simple uh, walls. And um, I can draw additional walls, but by going over here in the draw walls um, tool. So again, I just clicked on it. And now I can just add walls by simply clicking and you know dragging the line along. And as you can see, we have this very helpful red lines that kind of tell me um, if I'm aligned um, with other um, walls as well. So yeah, basically I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do a very nice um 3D4 plan today. What I really want to do here is I want to show you what the 3D4 plan can do. And I don't want to be too repetitive. And um, so I'm just gonna go ahead, you know, and add some structures, for example, um just some doors here. Again, I will just um click and I will drag it in. And you will see what have been added to the wall. I can again just click and move it along, and I can place it wherever I want. Um, I can also um, flip the direction of the door, and I can do the same thing with you know uh, windows as well. I can add uh, multiple windows um, here, and we do have a lot of structures that we can add. As you can see, we have staircases wall partitions, indoor fireplaces, and wall openings. And what you can also do, um, once you have added an item, you can here change the dimensions, for example, the width, um, the height, um, and the distance um, from the floor. And right now, um, it's very difficult to um, visualize the um, height, the distance from, from the floor. So we're going to go into the dollhouse. And right here, you get a very nice um, 3D view of the model you've just created. And one of the advantages um, of our 3D floor plan is that it's very quickly, very quick to use, and you can create something within a matter of uh, minutes. I understand if you're using AutoCAD or SketchUp, um, it can be quite tedious to create something simple as well, because you really start from scratch. But here we have um, you know, pre-populated things that you know most houses will have. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go back into the floor plan and I'm going to go back into products. And as you can see, we have again, um, very long list of things that you can pre-populate your 3D floor plan with. Um, we have bedroom furniture, we have beds, we have, um, living room, living room, um, sets, dining table sets. Um, so again, I just click and drag and drop it. And I can also, again, uh, adjust the dimensions of these items as well. Um, and I can select the finish. Um, now, the difference between products and source is that products are really supposed to be just a placeholder. So they, are, they will be um, white mainly. And you can, however, change the finish of it. Um, it, but it will basically just change um, the whole thing. Um, but if you go into the source, you will see you have a lot more products that are a lot more detailed. 
um, that really bring a lot more life into your 3D floor plan. And um, the only problem, however, is that this may not be the, you know, the products that you can provide to your client. Um, so it's really up to you if you want to just add the, you know, the products to be placeholders or the source products to really maybe represent your idea a bit more. Um, but yeah, another thing that we can do. Can is I pause you there, Saver? Yes. Yes. Uh, in terms of the product that you clip with the clipper, so if you are on interior design and you're able to source product yourself with the clipper tool, is that something you can add in the 3D floor planner as well? Um, so 